Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a Stardew Valley duplication glitch. What you're going to want to do, obviously, when you start off is enter your name, your farm name, and your favorite thing. Our name is going to be Goblin. Farm name is going to be Goblin's Farm, you know. And then our favorite thing is YouTube. Go ahead and click the skip intro down here if you want to speed the process up. Click the bottom left wrench. Go to multiplayer options and you're gonna to want to go to starting cabins and make sure that bad boy is on one. Go to the bottom left and click OK. You're gonna go bottom right right after clicking that OK and go click OK again. Once it says the progress has been saved, your game has started. Walk over to this box over here. You're gonna pick that up and you're gonna get the 15 parsnip seeds that you need for this beginning of the duplication glitch. Go to the top of this table over here. You're going to pick the decorated bowl off. You're going to grab the table and you're going to go ahead and put that bad boy in the middle of the room. Make sure the table is in the middle of the room. Once you've done that, this is your time to just hook up your second controller. Your buddy could be the one or it could be a different controller, the same person. Go ahead and enter your favorite thing. We're just going to put G on both name and favorite thing just so we can speed the process up for you guys. Click OK. You don't have to pick up these parsnip seeds, but it does speed up the process just a little bit. Go ahead and skip that cutscene again. You're going to want to go to the cabin to the right as the second player. Go ahead and enter that bad boy. And then you're going to want the second player or the first player. It doesn't matter who. Someone needs to be carrying parsnip seeds and one needs to be carrying a tool. It could be either one of those. The player will hold X or A. Each one is going to hold them at the same time and just hold it. Keep it held. Don't tap it. Just hold it. I'm going to go ahead and speed this process up for you guys so you don't have to wait forever. You will need 550 to begin making the big bucks. So once you've done this, go ahead and go to Sears Place over here. Enter that bad boy. Go ahead and go up here. You want to go to the cash register and you're going to want to go to the very bottom. That way you could sell your parsnip seeds. You need at least 550 to get the 6,000 that you need to buy the pomegranate seed sapling or the peach sapling. Once you've bought those, you're going to want to go back to your cabin. Go ahead and enter that. You're going to do the same process that you just did. It doesn't matter yet again with either player who does it. But they're both going to do it. For this, I'd at least recommend you get 999 of one. Go ahead and speed this up for you guys again. There we go. So once I've gotten that, you're going to want to take it down outside of your cabin. You want to go to this little chest over here, this box beside your place. Go ahead and enter all of the parsnip or peach seeds saplings that you've had. Click OK and you're both... Both players are going to want to enter the bed to end the day. Go ahead and get your second player, first player, both go to sleep. And then, boom, boom, boom. There you go. That is how you do the Stardew Valley duplication glitch. That is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If this video did help you guys out in any way, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Cobble out. Peace.